Uh, my topic today would be on uh, exercise and mental health. So it has been observed that our students who are studying in colleges, in the universities and uh, those who are competing in uh, competitive examinations, they come to a lot of pressure, mental pressure and uh, uh, some of them it has been reported in newspaper recently too that they commit suicides. Uh, I find this is uh, a cause of mental health problems which need immediate address and uh, my hypothesis on this is that if we uh, do physical exercises, this can be avoided, Ment mental health can be uh, improved and uh, these suicidal uh, attempts uh, can be avoided. Yeah, the exercise is what exercise is. It is uh, any bodily activity which uh, uh, enhances our physical fitness, the overall health and wellness. Wellness includes physical, mental, social, moral uh, fitness and uh, uh, this exercise has different uh, varieties, the uh, intensity and uh, duration too. Uh, the, the, the youngsters, they do the physical exercises to improve their strength as they have to participate in sports. The younger uh, students or younger boys and girls, they uh, indulge in physical exercise because this is innate uh, ability in them. And the elders, they also they have to uh, go into physical activities because they are doing it for their uh, cardiovascular uh, improvement to control weight, control their obesity. Therefore, the mental health is what it is an integral and essential component of health. Uh, this is a definition by designed by uh, World Health Organization and it is, uh, it is, WHO says it is complete physical well-being. So when we say well-being, that's not merely the absence of disease uh, from a body, but it relates to overall fitness of the body, uh, which is mental health and uh, mental health uh, is not just the absence of disease uh, from our body, but uh, it relates to something uh, higher than that. So, as I said in the beginning, my high hypothesis is that if you are uh, active, if you indulge yourself in uh, physical activities, you will get rid of all these uh, uh, mental health problems. So, let us now uh, examine the, what is the relationship between exercise and mental health. So the people who exercise regularly, they have better uh, mental health and uh, uh, they, the rate of mental illness is very, very low. And exercise is important for people who are mentally sick or who are not mentally fit. They must go in for uh, uh, physical exercises and it not only improves your mood, but it also improves the concentration, the alertness and it also improves cardiovascular fitness. Uh, you can say the overall uh, physical health. Adult reporting high stress are more than four times as likely as adults reporting low stress to say they have skipped exercise, but exercise causes your brain to release feel good hormones. So, we will further study what are those feel good hormones like endomorphins, uh, serotonin and there are others also. Now, uh, 
some of our uh, important people in our society, they have also stressed about the importance of physical exercises. Uh, some of them like uh, Sadhguru, he has, uh, this is uh, Sadhguru is related to Isha Foundation and uh, he advocated that being mad, mentally ill is not a joke, it is not a joke but it is the most painful thing. But if you have physical ailment, you will get everybody's attention. But when you have a mental ailment, you will get laughter and this is very, very unfortunate. People will laugh at you when you uh, are not mentally fit or mentally sick and you uh, are prone to some actions which are very peculiar and uh, people laugh at you. So this is very, very unfortunate. So let us see how this uh, helps, the phys how physical ex exercises help you to improve uh, the mental uh, health. So there is one immunity. What immunity is? Immunity uh, is body or say it's a condition in our body. Uh, the condition which enables us, which enables our physiology to resist the diseases, especially through preventing development of a pathogenic microorganism. And uh, the, this is a latent uh, term, immunis means referring to protection against foreign particles. Immunity is of two types, one is innate immunity, the other one is acquired immunity. Uh, the immunity uh, which is innate, it has uh, uh, the lymphocytes through, it, it helps through lymphocytes and B lymphocyte, uh, it, uh, they, they are just like uh, uh, your uh, soldiers who are out to uh, do intelligence work where the enemy is going to attack. And T lymphocytes are those soldiers who attack on the direction or on the uh, found out ways or where the, the enemy is going to attack. And D lymphocytes are uh, uh, our soldiers uh, who would fight the, uh, the diseases and where these are available, there are in main cells, it's, uh, the, the cells secrete varieties of uh, specialized molecules, antibodies and psycho, uh, psychokines. These, where are these immune, uh, the immune system, we have immune very strong, if you have very strong immune system, you are, you are prone to, you are not much prone to the diseases or uh, infections. Uh, we have these, these, um, these immune uh, uh, limbs are there in WBC, in bone marrow, in lymph nodes, they are in tonsils, they are in thymus and our spleen. Uh, these are all, the, these, all these form the uh, system of our um, uh, immune, the immune system. And without an immune system, our bodies will be open to uh, attacks of uh, foreign bodies, foreign uh, viruses, uh, parasites, bacteria, uh, all those. And uh, it is our immune system that keeps you healthy. When you were experienced lot of pathogen, pathogens, they are available in the atmosphere all around us. So what are the factors affecting immune system? These factors are age, gender, eating habits, medical condition, medical status, training and most importantly the fitness level. During the uh, COVID era, a uh, lot of searches have been conducted and uh, they have found that 
due to stress and anxiety level, there was lot of increase in uh, mental illness, mental health problems were faced by many people. It is not only in India, but uh, all over the world. This was experienced uh, the people around the world. Uh, there are some uh, BBC news which I would like to share with you later on. Um, even apart from this, the wise men of the past and present to have advocated about the importance of physical exercises and physical fitness. A philosopher, great philosopher from uh, Greek, Aristotle, has advocated about the importance of fitness and he has said sound body and sound mind, uh, which uh, is taught uh, uh, to us in our earlier, uh, earlier day schooling uh, to uh, showcase the importance of uh, the physical fitness. In Upanishad, which are available and the, which contains wisdom of our uh, forefathers and it has also advocated that the attainment of powerful soul is not possible for a weak, for a weak individual body and it is also there in Shri Guru Granth Sahib, Nachan Kuddan Man Ka Chao. It emphasized the importance of physical fitness and so much later Swami Vivekanandji has also advocated. Uh, it is, uh, these are his words, you will never be nearer to heaven through, you, you will be nearer to heaven through football than through the study of the Gita. So, if we go by the words of our uh, forefathers, uh, this amply advocates the importance of the physical exercises or physical fitness. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the today's scenario is for physical activity, we go in for physical activity only on the advice of a doctor. And uh, since most of us do not do physical exercise, enough physical exercises, we uh, are, uh, you know, we uh, keep on adding weight, uh, which further uh, leads to um, NCDs and some other diseases, non-communicable diseases. And then we, we go to the doctor and a doctor advises us to shed your weight, go for walk, do exercises and uh, some tips about uh, our uh, diet. So famous saying uh, in earlier timings was, khao man paunda, Pano chag paunda. But today saying has changed. It is now, the present scenario is, Pano man paunda, khao doctor paunda. So we are not much aware of our own fitness, but we have to seek advice of the doctor uh, to, to, to keep ourselves fit. Now let us examine the hormones which I have said earlier, which are very important for our mental health. See dopamine, this is uh, a chemical reward hormone. Uh, when we get rewarded and praised, so dopamine runs through our body and it is your brain's reward system. So this is also an outproduct of physical exercise. Then there is endomorphin. It is a natural painkiller. It is harnessed only through physical exercises, uh, which protects you from pain. The other hormone is oxytocin. This is you call also called love hormones. And if you are praised and uh, it, it, it releases 
somebody somebody or some of your, uh, of your teammates they praise you for uh, your good play good good game so this is released in your body and you feel happy serotonin this is mood stabilizing hormone uh, this is uh, this regulates your mood sleep appetite digestion and majority it is a regulator for your mood feeling good this is serotonin is very important it is also the uh, product of uh, physical exercises then there is one fight and flight hormone it is called epinephrine and non uh, non epinephrine so these are uh, uh, th these are the hormones which suggest either to fight or flight uh, these are also there in uh, present in the body and substance play a very important role uh, in the body's uh, the fight or flight responses and they are released into the blood stream cause increase in blood uh, blood pressure heart rate and uh, blood sugar level which helps you to uh, to uh, you know give you strength to get rid of uh, get rid of the uh, the enemy either to fight or flight there are other hormones uh, which are called adrenaline and cortisol cortisol these two the two hormones are also uh, very good for us and these uh, make our body uh, uh, are uh, prepared uh, or um, prepare our body to uh, uh, to work harder uh, to prepare for uh, any stress and uh, these cartos cortisol are stress hormones which increase sugar uh, which we call glucose and these it, it enhances the brain's uh, use of glucose and increases also the availability of substance in the body that repair tissues remember one thing exercise is a medicine and inactivity is a disease if we remember this then no disease can harm us or attack our physiology but the bitter truth is in the modern age that we earn lot of money at the cost of our health and then we spend the money which is earned at the cost of our health uh, to spend on our on our body to regain the lost health there are some news uh, which were reported recently uh, there is one health word uh, this is um, a portal which uh, uh, reports both only the health conditions around the world and uh, then it has uh, uh, quoted gogi india fit report in which was given by 2223 and it is reported in in, in health word that 24% indian are struggling with stress and this will also cut down the expenditure on uh, health cost that is 20 to uh, 20 to 50 percent so these are certain guidelines on physical activity for adults let's say from age five to seven years they say if you indulge in physical exercise uh, then you are you are going to include your cardiovascular uh, system your muscular system your bone health and mental health and for age uh, the adults from 18 to 64 year age uh, they uh, also improve they can also improve their um, physical fitness and uh, um, the adult 18 to 64 years improved uh, the physical fitness improved all cause mortality cardiovascular disease hypertension type 2 disease mental health cognitive health and sleep so uh, these are uh, the benefits of physical exercises which reduces 
your stress and anxiety and mental health which is very important to build a healthy society and uh, uh, overall the healthy nation and uh, uh, my advice would be all of you whether you are young whether you are uh, a child or old must go in for physical exercises and their ranges are uh, different from even WHO World Health Organization says if you indulge in physical exercise in a week for 160 minutes 140 to 60 minutes you would be 50 percent away from diseases. So uh, this is uh, not something which is beyond our approach but remember physical exercise are must for improving your mental health. Thank you.